Now, hi everybody. Actually, some of you were here in my previous live stream that I did um, earlier today. Now, man, there were so many comments, there were so many people asking me to stay on. I had done that for close to an hour and I wasn't able to continue. So I thought I'd come back and do another real full live stream for everybody that is here now. So the idea behind this live stream is that I'm going to help you. I am going to help you to speak and write correct English. In order to do this, uh, I'm going to ask you to put sentences in the chat box. A lot of you are saying hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, Abbas. Hi, Darshan. It's nice to see all of you. Nice to see many of you back. So now I want you to put sentences in the chat box and I will tell you whether your sentences are correct or not. And I, I will also teach you how to correct your sentences. So let's do this, folks. All right, everybody's still saying hi, so I'm going to say hi, everybody. It's nice to see you all here. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'm still waiting for my first sentence. Okay, Nalini says, can you make a video about the present perfect? I will add the present perfect to the list. In fact, I'm going to be making a series of videos on all the tenses soon. But for now, I'm going to give you just a brief introduction to the present perfect tense. Now, as I'm sure you know, the present perfect tense has a subject and then it has a have or has verb and then the main verb of the sentence in past participle form. PP means past participle. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the way we construct a present perfect sentence, as you can see on the screen, is you put a subject and then for I, we're going to say have because for I, you, we, they, we say have. Uh, I have just eaten a sandwich. I have just eaten a sandwich. So this shows an action that I did recently. That is, I did just now. The, the tense that people often get confused with the present perfect is the past simple. So this is present perfect. The past simple, on the other hand, has a subject and then it has the main verb of the sentence in its past form, that is in its V2 form. Okay, whereas in the present perfect, we have the V3 form. So how do I make a sentence similar to this except in the past simple tense? Well, I say, I ate a sandwich. Now the difference between these two tenses, tenses, and this is very important, the difference is that with the present perfect tense, we don't mention the exact time that something happened. However, with the past simple tense, we do mention a time. So I ate a sandwich, so right now the time is uh, 10 o'clock where I am. So I'm going to say I ate a sandwich at 9.30 p.m. I ate the sandwich at 9.30 p.m. So here you have a specific time reference. You don't have that specific time reference in the present perfect because we don't want to focus on the time. We want to focus on the fact uh, that the action has been completed recently. So that's a very important point with the uh, present perfect tense that you should keep in mind. Okay, Khan says, I just, okay. Khan says, I just done my dinner just before. This sentence is actually not correct. Can you say why the sentence is not correct? It's not correct because there is actually a kind of a mixture of tenses because there's no have or has verb here. 
That verb is called the helping or the auxiliary verb. Uh, and there is a V3, a past participle.